Hey everyone, it's Mr. Proclivative here, sound engineer, music producer, P. Cliff Records, LLC. Um, and today, I want to show you guys how to uh, use Logic Pro X and use the plugin ESX24. It's an awesome, awesome plugin. And um, I'm going to show you how to upload your sounds into there and save them so that you can use them whenever you want. First thing you want to do is open a new session and hit create on the software instrument. The first a default sound they give you of course is the classical electrical piano but we don't want that sound so we're gonna head over here to the channel where this uh, sound has been placed and when you go over the name of the sound and I think this is pretty cool that they put into Logic Pro X but here's where you can actually turn on, on and off the plugin here you can modify and make changes and <clears throat> this here the app up and down arrows allow you to change your sound so if you go to the up and down arrows the ESX 24 boom right here simple and now you're gonna click it I'll go to stereo and another thing that's amazing about Logic Pro X that I love is the view options you can modify how big or how small you want um, your view to be which is awesome when you're doing very technical editing um, but okay so we have the ESX24 now I want to put in my sounds I don't want to use the sounds that are with the system which is no problem so we're gonna go to edit there's options and edit over here so we're gonna go to edit click that boom now this is the place where we're going to place all of our sounds um, so that way there we can use them so what I like to do is go over here to the media uh, I'll go to all files because that's where I put my my things at go to my desktop and my sounds folder okay so say I'm going in 2013 sounds uh, <clears throat> let me go over here to my PCLIV jumbo kit by the way this kit will be available for download on October 15th and uh, you'll be able to pop some new sounds if you're a music producer um, but yeah so quick plug <laughs> uh, and you want to take them and you want to drag them all right here now <clears throat> this here is great because now I have my whole kit and I want to put it in here uh, so I don't have any problems awesome here it's going to ask you where do you want to start the note. Uh, I usually like to start it at C1, but you could, you know, if you want to keep it there, you keep it there. C1. Hit OK. Now you'll see all of the individual sounds have been placed on each individual key. Isn't that awesome? And now what you want to do, go to Instrument, Save As, and you want to name it. So this is my people drum kit. And boom, just like that. People drum kit shows up at the top. Now I can X out this. And boom, people drum kit. Right there. And whenever I want to use it, I can go right here. The clip drum kit, it will change. I can click it, switch to something else if I want. 808s, boom. But the clip drum kit. And that's the way you save your sounds into the ESX24. Um, I'll be having some more tutorials coming soon, so stay on the lookout. Also, P clip drum kit coming October 15th. Be ready for it. Alright, peace.